Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon the Ultimate Collection and we have just gained even more zoo fame to our tiny little zoo and this time my friends it's actually our zoo so we're not gonna get kicked out every time we complete the challenge they just hand me those statues and kick me out the front door <laughs> well now we are not going anywhere because this is our room to roam and we have just gotten to level four which means we can officially hire a janitor we can have some alpaca, a Central American agouti, tropical rocks, weathered whacker rope toy. This is so cool. We're seeing things like the painted hideaway shelter. I have not seen those in any of the challenges we were doing. So this is very exciting to be able to have access to all these new things. Uh, there's also some rocks that we can use to decorate the area. And let's see, oh, look at that grassland tree. <sighs> of course, I would be super excited about the trees. There's wild animal care research that we can do as well to make sure that the animals will be more taken care of in the future. Uh, and let's go ahead and connect this. Yes. We're gonna go ahead and connect this gigantic exhibit that we have just put down to these other ones and we are gonna move Cinnamon and her son into a larger area where they are going to have more room to roam, which will make me so happy for our little bears. I really think that they deserve all of the space uh, and our guests actually want us to demonstrate feeding them. The guests want to see us do a feeding interaction for one of our animals. So I'm thinking I want to move Cinnamon over here. Is she really happy right now, though? Because I just had an idea. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and check on her happiness level really quickly. Little Shinzi. Yeah, his habitat happiness is not maxed out. And Cinnamon's is not maxed out either. So yeah, we're gonna move them to a larger habitat. I really don't like having them in the small one anyway. And let's go ahead and customize the path so it is an alpine path. Lovely, lovely, absolutely adore it, absolutely adore it. Uh, and then let's prepare it for them. And in fact, actually, are those alpine trees? Those trees better be alpine trees, hmm? That's better. Now we've got the alpine trees in here, alpine trash cans. Come on, get with the alpine theme. We're in the alpine area. I wanna see medium alpine walls. Thank you very much. Uh, how do I edit this? Path editor mode. Got it. I, I, I want it to be <laughs> switched to, okay, edit this path. Uh, what if I, huh, all right, we'll play with trying to fix, uh, what did I do? I guess I put down, okay, no, no, I guess those were already there, but good to know that benches automatically plop down. That's very convenient. Um, let's go ahead and come in, and we are going to have, the guests want to see at least one interaction station, so let's actually put it over here, maybe? Maybe over, I want to put it over here, I think. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead, it'll be a feeding interaction station, and this is going to be fun for our bears. But then we also need to put in animal care. So let's go ahead and put down their bathing station over here because I think that'll be really cute for Cinnamon and her son. And then the enrichments, what would be best for bears? I think they really love scratching posts and they really love slides the most. So let's go ahead and put the little slide down here. Ooh, we can do research on the natural fall slide. Oh, okay, we're gonna do research on that really quickly. And while that is researching, we're gonna go ahead and come over here. Ooh, actually, do I wanna put the slide over here? Oh, maybe I wanna put the food over here. <laughs> I think I wanna, ugh, there's so many choices because I love the scratching post. I'm gonna put the slide over here, the natural falls rock slide. Oh, uh, but the sun's gonna block it because I'm thinking about the cute pictures I want to take of everything. But watching, oh, and the bumpy bear scratching post. Okay, I want to do research in that too. Because just imagine how cute it is going to be watching Cinnamon Sun climb up the bumpy bear scratching post. That is gonna be the most adorable thing. All right, so we've got this all filled out. We only have a few minutes left for the uh, zoo view animals. Let's go ahead, select. We're gonna move her. Come on, Cinnamon, you're gonna go over here. And then let's grab your baby, cause he's gonna be like, mom! And let's move him over here. Do I have any donated animals? Not yet. All right, there we go. So now Cinnamon is moving out. 
We also have this empty exhibit that I still need to adopt an animal into. Uh, it's a temperate forest exhibit. And bears are still the only one that we have who would be happy in there. Uh, and I don't have a new type of bear. So I'm going to wait until we unlock something that would be happy in there. Oh, and the other thing I was thinking about is since this is going to be home, like we're going to really, I mean, we have a platypus over here. Let's rename this exhibit. Oh, the platypus apparently has some poop I need to clean up. But let's rename this exhibit. <laughs> and I'm just going to call it like Arctic Surprise because it's a platypus. There is a platypus in the Arctic supply, like surprise exhibit. You would not expect to see a platypus. I am very adamant about that, okay? Like, you don't come over here and think, oh, I'm going to come and visit with the platypus. Uh, in Alaska, that's not how life works. All right, let's put the alpine benches in. Alpine everything. Get with the theme. Oh, my gosh. Okay, trash cans are empty because I actually am not feeding people. Note to self. Feed my guest. Uh, we'll work on feeding them as well because I think fame will go up. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get down here. All right, Cinnamon. Animal, can y'all use this interaction? Awesome, Cinnamon. Apparently, uh, the medium bear can't eat. Make sure there's a feeding station. Whoops. <laughs> I have messed up this. Okay. Nobody panic. We're going to go ahead. I could have sworn there would be enough room to have all of the bits and pieces. Uh, the answer is no. So we're actually going to take out the interaction, edit interaction, replace. Can I, can I use this with bears? You can use the hose interaction with bears. And they wanted to see a feeding interaction, right? Like that was the challenge. Hang on, Cinnamon. I'm going to get you food in just a second. They wanted to see... What? <laughs> I did all of that only to mess it up. Uh, I'm so embarrassed right now. But the good news, Cinnamon, is that you have a larger exhibit. But gosh darn, I'm really sorry, guys. That's very, very embarrassing. Uh, no pun intended because we're working with the bears. I really thought I'd be able to feed her, like, you know, some fruit or something. But apparently not. And we're going to put down some fish so that she can eat over here. And that should make her happier. But we didn't even have an animal available. Like, here, we'll clean up that poop. So now we have two exhibits, but no animals in them. But I didn't even have an animal available that I would be able to use that for, unless you count the alpacas. Huh. Let's get some, some little alpacas. This, too, is too small of an area for them. But at least we can they, they will be okay in the Andean Plateau. And we're actually going to rename these. I like the idea of renaming our exhibits. So this is going to be Berry Mountain. And this is like, yeah, Bear, Bear, yeah, Berry Mountain. Oh, my guests are disappointed and we just lost some fame for that. Fooey. Uh, and over here is going to be, hmm, actually like there, this, this might be like Bear Hill because we started with bears there. And this might be Berry Mountain just to make it fun. So edit exhibit and then I think I can, yeah, like rename it, but <laughs> this is going to be so fun to be able to rename it. So let's call this Berry Mountain. It's a pun because it has bears inside. And then down here, I was going to call it Bear Hill, but that's just silly. Let's call it, um, hmm, Bear Paw Shadows. There we go. Oh, we have a new challenge! Magazine photo uh, photograph. Oh, they want another picture! Maybe because we gave her a whole new exhibit. So the magazine is like, oh, this is wonderful. I think she's gonna go bathe! I think she's gonna go bathe! Run, little Zookeeper Siri, run! Oh, she changed her mind! She's just teasing you, Zookeeper Siri. I think she's coming over to, like, rub her back. So this is perfect! <gasps> perfect cinnamon! Beautiful! Beautiful, my dear. Oops. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The magazine is going to love that. I can just tell. Thank you so much. The magazine loved it. We have hopefully gained a little bit more zoo fame from that. This is a little harder to get, like, the zoo fame really rolling than I thought it would be. But I think that's just because we need more animals. So let's go ahead and edit the exhibit items. 
we're gonna get rid of the fish feeding station and we are actually going to go ahead and replace it with the grass and leaves station. And thankfully that didn't cost us as much money as I feared it would. And then we're gonna want the enrichment station is going to want to be replaced for alpaca. And apparently they just really, really, really love the shelter. So we're gonna go ahead and give them the straw covered shelter. There we go. I don't think they need the cleaning station either. Pretty darn sure that they don't need the cleaning station. Uh, usable by all animals. What? Are we gonna watch an alpaca take a shower? Because I'm, I'm here for that if that's what we're about to see happen. All right, let's go ahead and adopt. Let's get Cupcake and Hercules. Those two sound amazing. We're gonna get Cupcake and we're gonna get Hercules. We have a boy and a girl alpaca. And I'm hoping we might be able to breed them. And we're actually gonna see if we can make that happen by coming on over and we are going to put down the breeding center. So let's put in some research for the breeding center. There we go. And hopefully that'll help us out. And how are our animals? Are they happy? Are you, are you content with things, Cupcake? She has some social need. Soon she shall have a companion there. Eventually we will move them too to a larger uh, little mountain and they will be able to have more alpaca. But she's adorable. And look at this, we've got like the little shelter for her. Everybody's cheering. I mean, it's not often I bet people see an alpaca in in Alaska, so alpaca in Alaska is kind of the theme of the day too. Why will all my animals just show me their rumps lately? I have not been able. Assigning breeding specialists to exhibits would boost your conservation efforts. Hire some from the breeding center. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, I kind of need a bigger exhibit before I think we can actually breed our alpaca, but we might see an alpaca take a shower, so I'm very excited about that. And we can now construct the breeding centers. There we go. Hello, my love. Why, why are they only showing me their, their furry little rumps lately? Why can I not just have a nice picture of an alpaca that doesn't have to involve their furry little rumps? Oh, 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 oh. she's coming in. Yes, this is so cute. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. You're adorable. You are so adorable. Look at her. She's just having a good time flopping around inside of her little her little exhibit. Look at you. Okay, I'm I'm pretty content. Where our zoo has completed the Animal Delight Award. What the heck? Hey guest, something kind of funny happened on the day on the way to work today. We won an award, the Animal Delight Award. These are the days that really make me love my job. Who am I kidding? I love it every day, but winning things is still kind of awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so Lindsay, I I, I kind of want to make her in like The Sims 4 and make her like some sort of social media guru. She's cracking me the heck up. And then we also have a message here from Al. So I read on the internet that like big zoos like this one usually have special zookeepers who help the animals have babies. But I went to but I went to ask because I really wanted to meet one and they said they didn't have one. Weird, right? Okay, okay, I can take a hint. <laughs> All right, guys, it looks like we're going to try to add in some alpaca babies in bear paw shadows at some point in the future. But have we finally gotten to the point where I can please, oh, we are not quite there on having something more than alpacas and bears, but Berry Mountain is doing well. Arctic Surprise, the platypus is doing well. And I think that we have just enough space to squeeze in a coffee shop and something else for the guest in here so that we can start making a bit more money and so that we can get a little bit more fame. Cause I'm sure that people don't mind walking around all of our exhibits and using the, like, I don't know, we charge money on this restroom, which is really kind of ridiculous to me. But using our restroom, if they have a little bit of coffee to kind of help them along their way. Uh, and I do want to try to breed some animals. So, hmm, we're going to get something for the guests set up to try to get our fame up just a little bit more so we can start making more money. And then I think we will try to breed, I really want wolves. 
I really want wolves and I'm not sure when we're going to be able to get them. But I want wolves and I want to get to level like 20 or whatever it was so that we can put down our giraffe statues. So we will continue on with our wonderful Alaskan zoo and its fantastic work. I mean, look at all of this space that Cinnamon and her child have now. That really warms my heart. <gasps> Is he coming to use the slide? Ah, dang it. I really wanted to see the baby go down the slide. But oh, look at how happy they are. Their happiness is like maxed out. He's rushing around having a good time. And this is what it's really all about. Lindsay may love winning awards, but I love winning over the hearts of our wonderful animals. Oh, look at that little baby go. Look at him go. But all right, if you guys would like to join our zookeeping adventures, do please consider subscribing for this and literally hundreds more. <gasps> is he gonna climb up the little post? And if you could, do please leave a like to toss a fish to this adorable baby. Look at him go. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Why must you always do it in the shade where I cannot get a good picture? Because it is just so adorable. Uh, but yes, do please leave a like to toss a fish to the adorable little baby bear cub. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.